Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the expansion for Rise of Tribes. This is Beasts and Bronze. And while we're at it, we'll take a look at the Volkef Invasion, which is both a solo mode and a new tribe that you can play as in Rise of Tribes. And while we're at it, we'll throw in these three special tiles. This was... Uh, a Kickstarter that got fulfilled, and I've actually had the prototype of this kicking around for a while, so I'm excited to look at the actual production version of this. Rise of Tribes is one of my favorite games. It is a game that I have had a lot of enjoyment with over the years, and so I'm very happy that this is coming out because I really like what this adds. What does it add? Well, bears and wolves and eagles too. So it's got some more aggressive animals that can lead to a lot more interaction in the game and a new way to win using the Bronze Age. So you can gain different technologies like riding, trade routes, or metallurgy uh, when you build a village. And so it's a different way, an alternate win condition for Rise of Tribes. Small box. Let's take a look at what's inside. All right, starts off with our rule book. That makes sense. All right, first thing it does is it talks about the beast. So these are basically two modules. You can play them together or separately or with other modules, it says. So these are the new uh, kind of, like I said, more interactive creatures that you can add to the game. You've got the cave bear and then the stampede, different event clarifications for the beasts, showing you how they work. And then this is the Bronze Age, all right? So you can also win by gaining all three Bronze Age technologies in addition to that normal score race that you uh, would also potentially win with, all right? And then it tells you just a little more about the different, how the lead action changes when you're playing with the Bronze Age. Let's take a look at our wooden components. There we go. We've got our big, chunky wooden animals there very very cool we've also got some little birdies hiding in here three of them in fact very very nice all right we've got some is there any way i'm going to be able to put these back correctly on camera what do you know all right we've got some square cards which are going to be our bronze age technologies that i am struggling to open let me see if my little cutter here will help. What I don't want it to do is help cut me. I'd like to just cut the cellophane if I could. There we go. All right, so front and back, these are the trade routes. When you complete the, the technology, this is what it tells you you can do. So here's writing. And these kind of work where you turn them in such a way it tells you what resources you need to flip them to the next side. And then when you've done, when you've completed it, you now have writing. And now you've got this ability at the start of your turn, choose a second leader card and select the side you want to play. So that's really cool. It gives you more um, special powers. Then we've got metallurgy here, which the power for metallurgy is at the start of your turn. For each of your villages, you can eliminate any tribe member from a hex you occupy. That's pretty cool. And then we also have trade routes which I showed you a little bit, but I didn't actually come out and say what it does. You may pay a resource to this card to make that resource type wild. All right, so just different ways to kind of play the game and a new alternate win condition, which is nice in my estimation. And then we've got our event tiles here. Okay, so new event tiles, night hunt, animal trails, rats. Crocodile, Swarm, Race for the Eagles, the Auroch, the Wolf Pack, the Hunted, the Cave Bear, Stampede, and the Upstream Migration. All right. I will put these back in a more respectable manner off camera. All right, let's take a look at the extra tiles here. All right, 
right, so we've got three new tiles. And here we can see the cards for those special train tiles. We've got our Lush Valley card, which tells you basically how it works. You swap it with a forest. It counts as a forest for goals and events, produces wood, but on, its, on this hex, the population limit is increased by two, so you can have more tribe members there. The island is going to replace a lake. And the offensive player, player removes two of their tribe members before conflict resolution. Ah, then we've got Invader Rock. You're going to swap this with any hex. It counts as all basic hex types for goods and events, produces any mix of resources. It's considered a wild land. It cannot be triggered multiple times during a single gather action. Okay, so just new tiles that can add to the base game kind of change up the way things work. All right, now, this is the Volketh Invasion, and this is what, quite honestly, is probably the most exciting part because I am a big solo game player, and this allows you to play the game solo. It also allows you to play with the Volketh as a, um, as a tribe. You can play with them uh, as your tribe. They're more aggressive in nature. Here's just some cardboard tokens, okay? These are actually going to be used for the solo game. Here are our solo rules. It goes through the rules of play if you're going to be playing it solo, the different uh, components involved, the setup, all you need to do, how the invaders are going to take their actions, okay? And then it covers all of their special warlord powers there, which you don't want them to have. All right, and then also, as it says, they can be played as a tribe as well. They're aggressive, a mysterious and aggressive tribe, okay? And here is the Volketh player board. If you're playing as the tribe, this is gonna be the side you use. If you're playing the solo game, this is the side you use right here. All right, so let's look at the cards. The AI kind of deck of cards. You can see it shows you representations of the dice. Okay, they have particular goals they're trying to reach and what reward they get if they do. All right. And we've got the powers of the Volketh, if you're playing them as a tribe, pillage and seize. And then we've got the solo event cards right here. Prepare, Eclipse, Appease the Volcano, Warcat, Mammoth, Rafts, Dark Altar, Fortify, Bleak Mist. All right, well, there we have it. The Beasts and Bronze expansion for Rise of Tribes along with the Volketh Tribe and Solo Mode. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.